plants aquatic or terrestrial large trees large trees or small shrubs all have one life to live one life and to live they should evolve adapt change then they can survive and reproduce in this chapter we'll be talking about four sections in four parts in part one we will be talking about plants evolution and adaptations plants evolved from green algae keeping six characteristics to have in common as an evidence and they are first cell wall composition all have cell wall made of cellulose second formation of cell plate during cell division third they have the same type of same type of chlorophyll that gives them the green color and helps them to perform process called photosynthesis fourth the ribosomal rna genes similar fifth both store the food in form of starch six they have the same type of enzymes in their vesicles for these plants to survive on land they adapted themselves through developing couple of features one of them is a thick layer of wax called cuticle in order to reduce water loss and avoid microbes invasion second they developed another feature called stomata controlled by guard cells keep them closed or opened during the temperature is high adaptations that enable the exchange of gases even with the presence of a cuticle on a plant openings in the outer cell layer of leaves and some green stems having vascular tissues is another feature they developed just like our blood vessels enable us to transport nutrients water and waste all over the body plants develop vascular tissues tissues enabled them for faster movement of substances than biosmosis and diffusion processes of transporting materials from high concentrated areas to low concentrated areas but this works over great distance two kinds of vascular tissues are there xylems and phloems xylems help them to transport water and minerals from the roots to all over the plant phloems enables the plant to transport food like amino acids and sugar from the plant where they're made in the leaves to all over the plant these vascular tissues provided support and still and structures so vascular plants can grow larger can grow larger than non-vascular plants plants are actually divided into two major groups based on the presence of the vascular tissues and they are vascular plants with vascular tissues they can grow high in any area while the non-vascular plants lack the vascular tissues and only can grow in the shaded or in the moist area another feature called seeds major plants the majority of plants can reproduce by making seeds a plant structure that contains an embryo and nutrients for the embryo and it cover to protect it so when conditions are favorable it can grow alternation of generations plants actually have two major generations first called gametophyte is the generation that produces gametes like sperms and egg cells sporophyte is another generation that produces spores and seeds during plant evolution the trend was from dominant gametophyte 
to dominant sporophytes that contain vascular tissues. Yeah, whether gametophyte or sporophyte dominant depends on the plant kind. In most of plants, sporophyte is dominant. In the seedless ones, the gametophyte is the dominant. This graphic organizer summarizes all the plant's kinds. As I said, plants divided into two major groups, vascular and non-vascular. Non-vascular can't make seeds. They are non-seed plants, like liverworts, mosses, and hornworts. The vascular ones divided into two subgroups. First, non-seed plants, like ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. The second subgroup, called seed plants, and it's actually divided into two other subgroups. A group called anthophytes, or angiosperms, or flowering plants, and it, and, it, and it represents the majority. While conifers, natophytes, cycads, and ginkgos represents the list, the less. In a group called gymnosperms, or the non-flowering plants. All of these groups will be studied, inshallah, will be studying them, inshallah, later in chapter, uh, in the next section, actually. All the groups, all we need, inshallah, we'll know about them in the next lessons. Yes, for the moment, I'd like to thank you all. And please remember, before you leave, to like, share, and subscribe. That was all for the day, for today. Wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum.